the dog training industry. And when I posted the video about the Zach George controversy, and by the way, there is no Zach George controversy. It's what I was talking about. It's basically the controversy of the fact that so many people feel stagnant or don't want to post content about dog training because of the backlash they may fear that they get from the dog training community. And it's not necessarily everybody. And that by all means, they're the amount of people that are posting negatively and shaming or just getting into people's faces when it comes to dog training is very small in comparison to the people that support and that are there to positively reinforce people for training their dogs. As we witnessed in my video that I posted, and I look at the numbers and I don't compare it to anybody else's numbers but my own because I'm that's the whole thing is that we're not trying to be comparing each other to another dog trainer or this method or that method. I think it's all about being positive and supporting one another uh, when it comes to us getting out there and being open and honest with our dog training. Because I think the more open and honest that we are with our dog training, clarity will happen. Uh, when we hide things, when we um, we try to conceal our mistakes, it helps nobody. So. I am so happy about this community because I look at the numbers and the video that I posted is one of the most viewed videos I've ever done on Doggy Dojo in such a small amount of time, but it is 100% the most liked video on my Doggy Dojo YouTube channel, which tells me numbers of where people are and what they want when it comes to dog training. So without further ado, I just wanted to make that little tiny snippet um for you guys and say thank you so very much for being a part of the positive change in the dog training industry and those that are scared right now we got you we're here for you we want to be supportive and i want to change this industry for good and there's a lot that goes into that i mean this is just the beginning and it's not me by all means i do not want to ever feel like or ever be the one who um is leading or um, is the one that's responsible for this movement. It's not because it is us guys. It's we, we are the, the difference and we are the difference in our dog training community. And I'm so excited about that. I know I've said that multiple times, but I really am stoked that um, I can see that so many of you on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram are ready to be, to be the difference and to be the change. It was great to see industry leaders that um, have far more experience than I do, and also far more experience not just in dog training, but in posting in social media, also be supportive and ready for the change as well. So you got people all from all walks of life. And what was really cool to see for me too is that there's a few people that I read comments about that weren't necessarily supporters of Zach George who also agree with the change. Um, and I don't want to stir anything up, but as you guys can see, that positivity wins in these situations. That when we're positive it is a more powerful message than anything negative. And I believe that part of the negativity that people put on line, it could be attention seeking. It could be the fact that they want attention or they want to take attention away from somebody else. I'm not trying to comment or, you know, I don't want anybody right now. Let's stop right now. I don't want anybody putting any examples or anybody particularly or hanging anybody out to dry. We need to stop that behavior. That is just no way going to help anybody to be calling people out. And I saw one comment that was um, saying that we shouldn't ignore it. No, I don't think we should ignore um, people. I think we should always be open to constructive criticism, but there's a line between constructive criticism and bullying, and we can't cross that line. Okay. I see some comments coming in because we are live. Hello, Cynthia, and hello, Chrissy. You guys were such big supporters. Um, you guys have been such big supporters in my own personal life, but on this as well. So I believe that we have together, not me, we together have started change for good when it comes to the dog training industry. So let's keep this rolling. And I don't, hey Kasha, good to see you on here. Um, let's keep this rolling. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it going. I don't know what that looks like. 
The only thing I feel that can start this change is for those that are here right now, there's one thing. If you love a certain dog trainer or if you love certain content, it doesn't have to be necessarily dog training, but in general online, if you love a certain, <laughs> you're at the grocery store, but if you love a dog trainer and you want to support a dog trainer, take the time to comment, like, and share their posts. Because if you are someone that has, it's okay. If you've in the past have done this, the past is the past. We're at the present and right now. I will 100% say your comment is the most valuable, not negative on this one to negatively tear somebody down, but to positively build somebody up. 100%. And let me read that because that's a very important point. Your comment, your likes, or dislikes, or shares, whatever you want to call it, whatever your interactions and your engagement with these posts is most valuable in the things you want to support. I cut this out of the original video um, that I did our post on here, on there just because I was trying to keep things short. But if you actually look and see when people are commenting, when they comment something good or comment something bad, it's just a number that the algorithm sees. And so if there are 75 bad comments and 25 good comments, that is just as good as 75 good comments and 25 bad comments. Do you get what I'm saying? That when you comment negatively on somebody's post that you don't like, you're only supporting them and their video and their algorithm. And that's the key, right? That's the thing. That's the big deal, guys, that if you really want to make a difference, go find the people that you support and go comment, go like, and go share that because that is gonna get out into the news feeds a lot quicker. And we want that, right? We want that. And I'm not just saying, do that for me. That's just, that's, a lot of you might be thinking that right now. I don't want you to think that. I'm thankful for everybody that likes and comments and shares on my posts. Really do. But we really need to start supporting the people that are doing awesome work out there. And if you can't find anybody, like I said, my video, if you don't think there's somebody that's worthy of that comment, and that is a big deal. Your likes, your comments, your shares are huge. And I'm so thankful. I can't tell you once again how thankful I am for those likes and comments and shares. It's huge. But the deal is, guys, that... If you can't find somebody that is doing something that you think you can approve of, go do the content. Go film that video. And it doesn't have to be video. It, go write that blog. Go make that podcast. Go take that picture and write a powerful caption behind it and post it. There are so many different mediums out there that, are, but that you can get behind, that you can feel comfortable with. Video is a big one right now in the, in the industry, yes, but there's so much, especially with podcasting right now. That thing is exploding day after day with particularly having all these little devices in our household that are listening to us, scary enough, but also that um, when we're driving in our car and we can't watch a video, we would rather listen to it. I'm one of those. I love Audible. I love listening to audiobooks and I love listening to podcasts. Think about how powerful your message could be. If you don't feel comfortable in front of the camera, Go post online on podcasting. Go write a blog. Go take a picture of you doing something with your dog. Or make a graphic. If you're an artist, draw. We love it. It's all there. Okay, I'm going to get to some comments real quickly here because they're flying in. There are great ways to talk to people that you don't agree with. Think of a sandwich comment method. Positive, constructive, positive. I like it. That's good. So if you want to comment on it... And there are times to pa publicly criticize people and there, but I find more times than not, you're going to get through the major problem or the major meat by going to the person itself, the meat of the problem or what you don't agree with. The best thing to do is go to whoever you don't agree with and talk to them about that. And hopefully they're open to that conversation. Um, people don't take public criticism very well. And a lot of times, it almost like they shut it down and they don't listen to it anymore. But if you were to privately message them, that makes much more of an impact. I promise you. Each dog needs to be worked different. Not, not, a, not a cookie cutter. He did great. Knows, let's see here. Let's see. Knows what he knows needs work with. So, yes, there is no one way to teach a dog. 
There is no one way to train a dog. There's no way to grow up and, and, and raise a dog. There are ways that are better for some dogs than others. And so I think that when we're open and we are listening and we're not shutting people down, that that's going to grow our industry so much more and grow our minds and grow our abilities so much more. Stop cutting it off. People don't learn when you cut them off. We know this in dog training. So I'm just going to go ahead and let's put semantics at the end, end here. Let's just go ahead and throw this out and let's just talk about real talk, okay? They have done studies with this in people and dogs that when you shut somebody down, learning stops. They have done studies on this. Scientifically, they have shown that when you cut somebody off or when you say no or you say stop or you say quit, the kids even, like little children... If you tell a little child when they're doing something wrong, like, hey, no. No what? No what? Or if you call somebody mean names, they shut down. And the ears just basically just turn off. So start being constructive. Say what you want to do instead. Talk to them and be real. I promise you, it's going to make such a huge difference. Hi, Caroline. Good to see you on here as well. So, all right. So, where do we go from here? Either A, support your, your content creators or dog trainers of who you want to build up and bring up in the dog training world, or make content. Okay? And then if you have some issues with something that somebody's posting, go to them directly. It's so much more effective. It's going to be a great way to really make a positive difference, a change. Don't take the easy road. Yes, it's so easy just to dislike somebody or to write a quick comment like, you suck. It's so easy. And it's also easy on the opposite, right? To just like or just to comment. But, you know, if you really want to make a difference, take the time to write a very constructive, whether criticizing or supportive, comment or share or like. It makes a huge difference, guys. So I'm so happy to see thousands of people ready for this change. And thank you for all those that like, comment, and share it on videos. Um, and it was great. So going forward today, I just decided to jump in here on this live stream to see if there's any other questions or comments about this whole aspect. And I'm going to be jumping over on Instagram and doing a follow-up live stream as well. I jumped on here on Facebook and YouTube first. I'm trying something different. Usually I do all three platforms, but Instagram Live is usually just on the sidelines here. So I want to dedicate my attention directly to them. So if you guys have any more questions, um, have any more questions or comments, please put them down below, even if you're watching this on replay. And thank you guys so much for your likes and shares. Uh, I have one question right here. Uh, how do you personally handle negativity? Just asking. Cindy, I am so happy you asked this question because this is the thing. It's taking me a while and I am still learning how to handle it. I really am. It's not easy. I think it's a skill that some people come, come to more naturally than others, but for a lot of people, it's really hard. And what I would have to say, the book that started the whole journey for me, there's two books and one book is called Rising Strong by Brene Brown. And I might have, I'm going to maybe botch any of these books' names or something like that, but I know the book is at least called Rising Strong. And it talks about battling the inner turmoils inside of us so that we can be more resilient to the outside um, things that attack us. And it also talks about, in the very beginning of the book, how we need to be listening to the people that are in the arena or in the game with us. And this is why it's so important for me that you guys go out there and, con and make content. Because I believe that we are going to learn so much more by um, being open and sharing what we feel about when it comes to dog training. So get out there and do it so we can, can learn from each other. There's always going to be people. So we look at this. <laughs> it's so good right now that would, Super Bowl Sunday just happened. So there are people, right, that are in the stands. And there's also people that are watching the television show or tele the TV. And they're yelling either support or hate to the other teams, right? But particularly for the people that are watching from the couch on the TV, the people that are in the field, they don't hear those people. And in the stands, you can hear definitely some cheering and some booing. 
and that can be heard. But what do you think players on the field, the football fields, are mostly listening to? Hopefully their coaches and teammates, and also their competitors. All right? They're reading their competitors, and they're taking time to work with their team and listen to their coach to make it happen. And the teams, we can all say, that work better together, that listen to their coach, and have a more offensive and defensive strong force are the ones that win. So that is you right now. You are everything when it comes to a team inside yourself. I just probably tapped my mic. Sorry about that. (laughs) You need to figure out what's going on with your team yourself and really start to be more resilient and self-reflective. And the second book that's going to help out with that that I will have to give a huge shout out to thanks Grisha Stewart for this. Grisha Stewart showed me this book and I've listened to this book twice now and it's awesome. And it's called The Book of Joy. The Book of Joy is a great book. It's by, um, once again, names. It's a conversation between the Dalai Lama and the Archbishop. And they are talking about religion and life and envy and all sorts of different hot topics of people of things that relate to finding joy inside your life and it's amazing this is so so big to what's happening right now between i'm gonna start putting some labels out there and i hate labels but with it it's just what it is it's there's positive reinforcement communities there's bounce communities and there's you know the other end of the spectrum and there's people that use um i I hate it like this like i I don't want to just put a name out there that I don't really want to label that, but like, you know, there's the positive re- reinforcement community and then there's the opposite end and there's, um, ones that are, um, using, um, all of us use tools, by the way. Um, we all use, like, if we're on the positive reinforcement side, we use treats and toys and, um, verbal praise and we use also, um, harnesses and leashes and all the tools. And then maybe on the other end, yeah, use chalk collars and e-collars and, uh, did I say chalk collars? I think I did. Shock collars and collars. Um, and then there's the balance community that's in between. Um, but think about this. If the Archbishop and the Dalai Lama can sit down together, a Buddhist and a oh, Christian faith can sit down together and have great conversation and agree to disagree, why can't we? Um, I probably, like, once again, I'm just not really good about, like, all these politics. I really am not, but I will have to say that we can be better, that we don't have to be so hateful to one another. It does nothing for us, nothing to be so hateful. And the media outlets out there will tell you otherwise or support otherwise, and there's so much hate, particularly when it comes to politics here in America. It's ridiculous. Um, and, you know, it's a, it's not the fact that we have to... Um, support what we don't believe in i don't think that's true but we can just acknowledge it seek to understand before being understood and go with that so that is my big belief and that's what i think that we should all strive for more and more in our lives but also in the dog training community so hey brie good to see you on here hey trevor sending your love and support as always love your positive messages it's it's so much easier, right? I think it it's not the you know everyone says it's the road less traveled. It's the road, you know, it's the high road, right, to do this positive stuff. But it's not. It's actually much easier. I trust me guys. I've I've gone down both paths and those that know me probably go like you Trevor have been negative. I mean, I've had those times in life where it's just hard to be positive. And we will all have our slips up slip ups and mistakes, but Guess what, guys? I 100%. If it is hard or if it's the long road or if it takes a little time, it's so worth it. Because in my opinion, it didn't take me much time to get to this point. And I have talked to people of opposing beliefs in so many different areas in life. And it's so much more fun just to be open and listen and seek to understand. It's so much more enjoyable experience for me. So I implore you, if you are strong enough to do the same, please do. Okay. Hey guys, good to see you guys on here. So 
I am so happy that we could bring this community together here on Doggy Docho, but as well as the whole dog training world. And I hope you guys um, will come away from this and we can start to build change into our communities and start to make a positive difference in wherever we're at. And it's so cool to see people from all over the world coming in and also wanting this positive change. So, um, and review, get out there, go support who you love. They need it. They need those comments, those likes, those shares. If you want to, if you can, if you can't find somebody that you feel supportive of, go make content, whether it be video, whether it be pictures, whether it be blogs, whether it be podcasts. And then if you have a problem with somebody, go to them directly and have conversations and try to be understanding and just listen as best as possible. You are awesome. You guys are incredible. And I'm thankful for you and thankful for everything you do here on the Doggy Dojo. We'll talk soon. I'm going to be posting another reward games video. I just taken a day or so just to kind of absorb everything that's been so amazing with this whole movement. And I'm glad that we could come here. I'm good. <laughs> Thank you for asking how I am today. I am very positive. It's, you know, it's so on a personal level, my wife is um, off to a conference. And so I am tackling my own little zoo here at my house. And it's, you know, there's a lot more work, but I'm feeling good. And I would have to say, if you want me, this, I love being so open with you guys. It's so great on this doggy dojo community to do that. I will have to say that you guys made a difference in my life. And I don't want to get to your head because I, it's, I, I have sometimes some deep emotions in my heart um, for, for you guys because I, I love you guys so much. Um, yesterday was probably the best day of my whole dog training career. There's just something about you guys commenting um, so much positivity that I'm a very happy guy. As you, uh, some of you guys know me, I, I love life. And I didn't think life could get any better than it is already. But yesterday was a big day for me. Um, I got to work with some incredible dogs. I got to go to people's homes and train them. I have three great training dogs I'm working with right now in people's homes. And um, my life was changed. I felt so thankful for everything in life. And so many moments when I was just sitting there with this dog um, named... Uh, I had a few of them actually, so uh, each dog kind of gave me a little bit of joy, each one, but I was just sitting there with this dog named Rue, and you guys met, met Rue in Trickmas and met Rue in um, the New Dog New Year series, um, and I just started to play with this dog, and I just started to realize how amazing having a dog in our life is, and how wonderful the opportunities I have to help so many grow that relationship with their dogs, but also to... Um, just have a life and livelihood with helping and playing with more dogs. It's just, I was so thankful. So you guys made the difference in my heart too and my life. So thank you for that. And I hope to uh, continue to bring you guys as much positivity and joy as possible and some amazing dog training content. Um, it's just been a wonderful time and it's been a great year so far already. And it's only, it's only February. January was an amazing month and i can't wait to see what the rest of 2020 has to bring with you guys thanks so much <laughs> you can hear my throat i'm trying I'm trying to keep it together here <laughs> yes cindy thank you so much you are always been so helpful so yes i am running the zoo on my own i am a superhero <laughs> um it's been it's been fantastic and then um thank you um, you're welcome. I, I love making these videos and you guys are incredible people and I thank you for everything. I keep saying that. I keep saying thank you. I know, I know, I know. I just can't thank you guys enough. I hope you guys have a rest, great rest of your day. You're an awesome, wonderful group of people. Have fun with your dog and we'll see you all next time.